There is one black powder gun that always takes me back to the days when I started black powder shooting and it is the Pedersel Lepage percussion pistol. I remember about 15 years ago when I started this whole story. I was just after graduation and as a young history teacher I did not have too much money. In fact the only gun I could afford was a cheap used Kentucky pistol. But since I had seen the Pedersel Lepage I knew I won one because it was the most elegant and most beautiful pistol I ever, I ever saw. But still my finan financial capabilities were not in the level for the Pedersoli gun, so I had to wait. Until the day when a friend of mine, a Hungarian guy living in Holland, called me and said, Balázs, we have used Pedersoli Lepage for you at a bargain price. It was about 350 euros. You have to buy it. By those times, 350 euros was one month's salary for me, so the price was still too high for me, but I decided to do anything for that gun. I decided to jump into this used Lepage pistol. Still, I had to wait about half a year to get it after I paid it. But then it arrived and uh, it gave me the best moments of black powder shooting I ever enjoyed. I've been planning to show you the out-of-box performance of a Lepage pistol for a long time now. So let's see now what we have here. The pistol comes in the standard cardboard box. You receive a very detailed instruction manual, a DVD with tons of interesting stuff, a steel ramrod with a muzzle protector, and of course your beautiful target pistol. The Lepage is the faithful repro of the target pistols manufactured by Henri Lepage in the mid-19th century. This pistol is often advertised as a dueling pistol, but I think it was rather a sporting gun. The dueling pistols usually did not have rifled bores, adjustable sights, set triggers, as the basic aim of the duel was not to kill the opponent, but to give justice. Unexceptional and unacceptable offense was needed to allow such an effective and accurate arm for the pistol duel. But it could happen, of course. The stock is oiled walnut, while the metal parts are chromed with a satin finish. The lock and the other metal furniture are elegantly engraved. The grip is checkered, so it is easy to have a secure hold. The Lepage is equipped with a single set trigger system. It can be adjusted to extremely light pull with the screw behind the trigger. It is offered in 31, 36 and 44 calibers. The twist rate of my pistol is one turn in 18 inches. The barrel is broach rifled with 10 and a quarter inch length. The rear sight is adjustable vertically. The dovetailed front sight can be set horizontally. The price of this pistol is around 700 to 800 euros, much cheaper than any other target pistols offering the same quality and service. It is also very cheap to feed this gun, as you only need 11 grains of 3F Swiss powder for an accurate load. I like the tight patch and ball combination, so I use a 0.38mm thick patch with a 0.350 inch round ball. If I add up all the cost of the cap, powder and ball cast by me, the total cost per one shot is only 10 euro cents. Now this is something that is hard to beat. The secret in loading your single shot pistol accurately is in doing everything the same way time by time. I also add some cornmeal on top of the powder. This helps the powder settle better in the chamber and it helps to equalize gas pressures. Always use the same force when seating the bullet. Although the pistol is packed with a steel ramrod, I like to use my full brass ramrod for maximum security in saving the rifling and the muzzle crown. The recoil of the pistol is minimal and the hook on the trigger guard offers a comfortable grip. The sight picture is clean and sharp. Ok, 
Okay, so this is my first ever group shot with the Pedersen Lepage pistol, 36 caliber, out of the box. I did not modify anything on this gun. You can see I have five shots in a 10 size ring. This is a 5 cm circle. I can cover them with this small cup. I have three shots touching each other in a beautiful group. And I have one pistol, but that was me, it was not the gun. This is why I love this Pedersen Lepage. The metal parts are chromed, so they are quite resistible to rust, but they are not stainless, so clean the pistol after every shooting session. And removing the hook barrel from the stock takes only a few seconds. The Lepage was the first black powder arm that won me a gold medal. I have been holding the national record with the old Lepage for 8 years now, while you have many under hammers as well in the firing line. So if you are looking for real value for your money, I strongly recommend you to buy a Lepage, you won't regret it, I'm sure about it.